Hey guys, Phil here, and I'm just playing around with uh, 3D Coat's new PBR materials, and I'm just going to let you play along with me. <laughs> this is a model that I had made for a 3D World magazine tutorial. I think it was issue number 135, if you want to go and check it out yourself. It is a low-poly, like, game-quality model. And it does include a normal map, so a lot of these details in here are just a texture. And when you start using PBR, it automatically creates for you a cavity mask and a, an ambient occlusion layer. And I've made this PBR paint layer, so we have something to paint on. And so let's start checking it out. And so I'm going to start off with selecting this test metal material and we're going to just paint it on and you can see you've got a real, real nice black kind of little bit shiny metal so let's undo that and let's look at some of these others uh, in the new version of 3d coat version 4.5 the folders section uh, you can still get to them here but they've also added shortcut buttons to them, like tabs, along here. So that's really convenient. Let's look at some of these others. This first default tab, these are just kind of some test ones. So this is kind of, this is just a, like a test plastic one. This kind of looks a little bit like the red waxy material you see in a lot of these sculpting programs. Okay. So let's move on. Let's check out uh, some of these cartoon ones. Let's check that out. This, <laughs> this one kind of works out well for this. It's a, a kind of camouflage look, but you can see around the edges, it creates something like ink lines. And uh, you can see it especially around here. And of course, uh, you can go in and you can change that uh, camouflage texture to anything you want. If you right click on there and choose the PBR material editor, although first you might want to duplicate it, but then you go into the material editor and here you can see all the different, here's the pattern for the ca uh, camouflage. And we have various different things going on in there. You can play with all of those. I'll just cancel it for now. And I'm going to move on. Check out some of these others. Let's check out some of this, this dirt one. I'm just going to paint this on. And this is great if you have already painted all your textures and you're good to go but you want to dirty it up a little bit. So you can see that it fills it in in the crevices more than it does in the flat areas, just like it would in real life. And so suppose you've already got a your all your colors, all your uh, main colors painted on there. You can just come in and hit the paint bucket and use this preview to see what it's going to look like and then just drop it on the whole layer and wait for a few seconds and there it is. It just fills it in real quick for you and you're ready to go. Let's check out some more. Pick another dirt one. And that one is, it's just a base, it's filling in everything. This one fills in even more tighter crevices. But yeah, that's, that's pretty helpful for just adding just a little bit of dirty detail, just to really make it stand out. Okay, 
let's move on. This one, this one is just kind of a kind of a demo, just showing you how some of these work. Uh, you can see as you're painting this, it puts more on the top areas, and then it looks as if it's dripping down to lower areas, dripping down on the sides and on the bottom. You get nothing at all. And the, the pink one is pretty similar. Lots on the top. Almost nothing on the bottom. Okay, and let's move on. Now the metal one, this is a great category in here because there are lots of really cool metals in here. Like, check this out. This is all copper. Look at how realistic that looks. That is great. Okay. Let's check out some of these others. This is kind of a beat up looking battered metal. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what some of these others are called. This one is Metal Rusty. I'll paint that in. And let's look, uh, see what it's doing with the rust. Oh, I, I didn't have it selected. It's still the same one. There it is. Now it's selected. Now, check that out. This is some really beat up old metal. You find, might find this in a junkyard somewhere. And you can see there's more rust in the inner kind of crevice areas right in the places where rust would generally form. And so let's check out some of these others. This one is plastic. So this one is a grainy plastic. You can see that looks real nice. There's a little bit of shine and just a little bit of texture in there. It's almost kind of a rubbery look. Here we've got a real glossy one. And again, you can go in there, right click it, PBR Material Editor, and can click that color and just change it to whatever you want. Click OK. And let me drag this over top. You can see what the color is going to look like. There you go. Make it a green, the kind of the official color of 3D code. <laughs> And I'm not actually going to keep that, so we'll just cancel. But there's a, a funny one up here. So just paint that all in. This one makes it look as though your model has been printed on a 3D printer. This room really works well if you fill the entire layer with it. Pretty fun. Okay, so I'm going to end this uh, video here. Check out the rest of these materials. There's some really cool ones in there, especially like some of these scratches where it only fills in the edges. And it really looks like you have a painted object that got beat up around the edges. So check these out yourself. Uh, if you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this one. 
and I'll see you guys later.